All right. Uh, so please introduce yourself. Hello, I'm uh, Johan Simon. Just uh, I'm uh, assistant professor in uh, just uh, Toulouse University, Paul Sabatier. Just uh, working in uh, Cerimat Laboratory. This is uh, in south of France, in Toulouse also. Uh, my thematic, my topic of my research is uh, transparent conducting and thermometric property of material of deposits in thin film. Also, it is uh, for a purpose to uh, harvest energy, uh, to convert thermal energy waste into electricity, useful also with a transparent property for as, as a solution for uh, future windows, uh, future smart windows. Is it like a, a energy harvesting? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. But the next level or what? Uh, no, just... Uh, for the moment, I work on the material, precursor material like uh, delophosphate oxide and also uh, copper iodide, uh, uh, copper iodide. Right. We uh, right. just uh, focus on two materials. So, for example, this one, it is a delophosphate compound. It is an oxide which is deposited by uh, sputtering radio frequency. And also this one, uh, copper iodide, uh, which is deposed by uh, sputtering, uh, classical sputtering. So, <laughs> and uh, do, you, do you have uh, results? Like, yeah. does it work? Yeah, just uh, for example, we have uh, just a uh, good result for uh, copper chromium. Uh, I will ch change uh, my yeah. <laughs> No problem. Ah, is it secret? Uh, no, 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 it's not secret. But uh, this one, for example, it is uh, the, uh, the interest of this research topic. For example, the transparency in the visible uh, range, and also when we apply uh, temperature gradient, we generate voltage. Uh, for example, for our interest, we are just interested about uh, material with copper. Copper is very interesting because we can generate P type conductivity and multiple cases for example when we substitute uh, copper 1 plus by copper 2 plus or if we uh, have the vacancy of copper 1 plus for example um, on peut couper maybe uh, we can cook it <laughs> we can just cut yeah. and after you that mean while you skip yeah I will go to the result for example all right so I cut to cut to me right here and then I have a. Voilà, on peut reprendre. Yeah. We can start again. For yeah. example, uh, just uh, this type of thin film have a very good transparency in the visible range, with good electrical conductivity, pretty good for P type. Uh, but the form, form factor of merit of this type of thin film are pretty good for P type. Uh, also, uh, Subject coefficient, which is um, have the ability to convert it into electricity, is specific all for this type of material because it is constant. It's not depending on the temperature, which leads interest for uh, temperature sensor. It is a specific material which very clearly adapt for temperature sensor and uh, with very accurate, high accuracy. It is good for that. Uh, we have just enhanced the property of this type of thin film material. For example, using laser, laser with uh, these properties, we can modify and we can modify the property of this material. For example, we can uh, we can have transmittance of a similar value, but increase a lot of electrical conductivity. It is very interesting for future application. For example, this uh, type of um, uh, treatment can increase the factor of merit of this transparent conducting uh, material. It is very innovative way, very low cost. It is very easy, and also we have just very good result for P-type transparent conducting oxide through this new method. Uh, so you call it the Kukro 2? Kukro? No. This one? Yeah. <laughs> ah, it is Delaforsite. Delaforsite is copper chromium oxide. And uh, is broadly available? 
So, so is it special or hard to find or easy to find? No, it is pretty easy to deposit. Uh, we can uh, prepare with mixture of oxide, for example, chromium oxide, uh, copper oxide, and uh, also magnesium oxide for the doping. But it's pretty uh, easy to prepare a target. After that, we just from the target to obtain a lot of thinning. The preparation of target is long, but uh, when we obtain this target, we can make a lot of film with this target. So, and uh, you present this here at the Nanotechnology Conference. So you do this presentation. Yeah, yeah, it is my presentation of te Nanotechnology uh, 2022 uh, with a uh, approach of uh, Synfilm because uh, Nanotechnology is in this uh, Synfilm configuration because the thickness of this film are or less uh, 100 nanometer thick only. But the surface can be uh, here, for example, this surface is two by two, by two uh, centimeters square. And are there a lot of people going in this direction or are you the only one who figured this out? No, no, a lot of people work on this uh, transparent conducting thematic, but the innovation in my case is to uh, uh, use on uh, to study the thermometric property. To, the fact to combine both is uh, more is uh, more rarely reported in the literature. But it's a new way to uh, overtake some difficult for uh, the future. For example, to harvesting some energy from exterior uh, from uh, ener energy rest to uh, in the future. Uh, reload your battery for example but you were talking about wind for wind windmills uh, you're talking about what are you talking no, about no just uh, it or uh, just it if you have a difference of temperature from inside on outside for example inside if uh, during the winter or inside it's hot on outside it's very cold uh, if you have this difference you can have a thermometric effect also, uh, it is possible when it is very sunny. Uh, from the sunny, we are just eat uh, the, the thin film and generate also a thermal gradient, which can generate voltage. Uh, in terms of the uh, energy harvesting, it's been talked about for a long time. Yeah. How much has been done so far? I mean, with like there is a solar and wind, right? But oh. that's big. Uh, yeah, yeah, but, of uh, course. But how much of the of the dream is is real? Yeah, it is an intermediate dream, <laughs> dream that's an intermediate uh, duration because uh, of course uh, to this day is not finalized, optimized because it is very innovative way and uh, but uh, it's also have uh, some possibility to combine with a photovoltaic effect, for example. Couple with a photovoltaic, thermoelectricity becomes more interesting. And uh, do you have some nice conversations here at the Nano Technology Show? Yeah, yes, of course. For example, with graphene, uh, new structure, and, uh, a lot of things. Because uh, here, uh, there is a lot of uh, photovoltaic. Uh, photovoltaic uh, properties and uh, of, of course for me uh, it's interesting to uh, to discuss with my colleague about uh, new material bond structure to optimize uh, eventually the elaboration wood with new wood for uh, for example this uh, this wood with a fast uh, laser annealing which is more and more used in the laboratory for new material but also in the industrial uh, field and what is the most interesting thing you heard at this conference? <laughs> a lot of things. Uh, for example, uh, today, yeah, the uh, uh, eminent professor just worked, uh, talk about graphene, uh, bond structure of graphene uh, with uh, tilting. It is very interesting because it's new property. We can have a new electronics. Uh, maybe it will be used uh, for uh, in the future for uh, to, to couple with uh, other property like uh, like this. It's, uh, it's very interesting. 
And over there in Toulouse, uh, there's a big connection with the Airbus. Yeah, of everything. course. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I cut, ah, please? I'll cut it for a second. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I want to cut for just yeah. to make this. Ah, this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or Toulouse, uh, it's okay? Yeah. Ah, it's, well, in Toulouse, of course, uh, there is a, it is a big city for Airbus company because uh, the final assembly of uh, airplane is, uh, is uh, given in this uh, city. Uh, it is also a pink city, it is a very beautiful city. Uh, it's not so far from Paris, uh, well, it is in the south of uh, France with a good weather. Also, my laboratory is, uh, is, is labelized, labelized Carnot. It is labelized Carnot uh, with Montpellier. It is uh, Institut Carnot Chimie Balance Remat. Uh, and they have uh, a lot of uh, various fields uh, as a battery, supercapacitor, gas sensor, of course. Transparent conducting oxide and thermal electricity on the new, uh, new field like uh, air hydrogen. Uh, we have a lot of uh, various techniques like uh, dense sintering techniques, spark plasma sintering, electric uh, deposition, but also uh, 3D printing uh, on the DLMS. DLMS is a uh, use a laser to make a sweet uh, uh, metal, metal, but also new ceramics, on new fun functional ceramics. I work on all. On, on, uh, I work also in this thematic. Uh, and also a new route like uh, binder jetting. It is a jet, binder of jetting to make 3D material. It is a laboratory which, is, uh, which targets a lot of the elaboration of material. New material for the various function, fun, functionality. And many people there? Uh, so, uh, there is a Four sites. Uh, There's a lot of sites uh, in this laboratory. We are about uh, 200 uh, people. <laughs> All right. But cool. this university is very big. Uh, it is a second, in terms of number of students, is the second university in France. Uh, there are a lot of uh, students, uh, more or less, uh, 30,000 people <laughs> cool. on this site. It's a very, very, very large city. It is a very uh, large student city. Cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Maybe if you, you cut some power. Cut something. But yeah, okay. yeah. To, you, you, you will assemble some. Uh... Yeah, I will assemble. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you, very, you much. very much. In the chat, I'll put you in a break for a second. Okay, thank you. Okay.